you an angel Or just a lie You disappear right before my eyes You wrap me up So tight me breathing but my mouth is dry Welcome back to the sawmill friends it's thursday and we have got a lot to get done today people dad's headed over here gosh he'll be here in about an hour i need to get this log finished up before he arrives this is a white pine i took the bark off of it last night i got it worked down to a cant it's about 14 by 14 i think i'll work this down to 10 inches and do one by tens we're using this for the sheathing on top of the barn. I was using one by sixes because I had about 50 of them sawed up for a previous order that didn't happen. So we use those, but now we're doing one by tens because they go a whole lot further than those one by sixes go. But these are going to be green and uh, they'll be just fine. I get lots of comments on this video about using green wood for building with and for a barn or a shop or something like that, you're going to be just fine using green wood. You gotta remember though, with walls. So a uh, good example, we got two by four walls between the timber frame bins. I'm going to eventually enclose those walls with insulation and probably use the molder to make some really nice, you know, paneling or something, maybe some shiplap. But you wanna make sure that you let that stuff air dry first. If you close that wall up when it's still green, there's nowhere for that moisture to go and your lumber may mold on you. The insulation is going to be in there. If you're insulating, it's going to cause all kinds of trouble. So just remember that if you're using green wood, let it air dry wherever you install it at before you enclose it or do anything like that. Siding's just fine. It's going to hang there and be just fine. But you know, two before walls and stuff like that, just make sure you think about having it dry where it's hanging at because you don't want to have that problem later on with the mold situation and moisture coming out nowhere for it to go. And if you're using pine or poplar for your two by fours, it's not gonna take long at all. During the summertime, three or four weeks and it'd be dry. During the winter time, maybe a couple of months. And if you did a lot of airflow where you're building, even faster. So we'll do one by tens on this one right here. We'll throw them in the tractor, take the tractor down to the timber frame. Also take the truck down because I got some OSB to put on for sheathing. We weren't sure about that, but the timber frame needs a little sheathing on the outside because it's racking just a little because I didn't use uh, knee braces on the top. And my goodness, look at there, Cabbage is with us today. What are you doing there, buddy? He's up there clawing me usually. What are you doing? It's a sticky, ain't it? He don't like that sticky pine on his patch right there. He does not like that at all. Look at him holding those feet up. You better get off there, buddy. That's gonna get worse. This pine is sticky, guys. It's green as a gore. I got it about two weeks ago from a logger. And man, alive is just, man, it's so sticky. Man, it's good coffee. And uh, one more thing. I got a lot of requests. Somebody actually emailed me and I didn't keep the email because I didn't think it was possible. But Farm Focus now has a zipper hoodie with the beard logo on the back. So if you want a hoodie with a zipper, we got them now. They're about $50, but it's good quality stuff, guys. Ain't nothing cheap or nothing like that. So there's a link down below. Go check that out. And even though the cold months are about behind us, 
you should be ready for next year. So go pick yourself one up. Here's my sales pitch for the day. Hang in there, guys. Got a lot going on today, and uh, it's going to be a good. Yeah. Oh. Once again, that post concrete is set good. Now, you're over. coming towards you. What do you see there? Because I'm beautiful over here. That's it. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I like. Good and stout. All right. All right. 87 and three quarters.
he's over here just wearing his paws out. He's got that stuff all over him. Man, this is some just pitchy pine right here. Pitchy pine. That's one of the silliest things I've ever seen. Pitchy pine. And one more comment to answer, and I promise we'll get going. I drink Black Rifle coffee, and it is full of caffeine. And as you can tell this morning, this is probably my third cup. I can't shut up today. That's a shocker right there, ain't it? Let's get going. All right, guys, it's Thursday, and we have a lot going on today, friends, let me tell you. And the camera's crooked. It's always crooked. I can't never get it straight. Good. Saints alive. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It's Thursday, and we got to get a lot done today, and I don't have the viewfinder on. I can't even see it. It's getting old. 